Nitro family. What's up? Where everybody been? What where everybody at? Hey, just wanna come to y'all tonight, man, and just show y'all uh, just an option, man, for setting up your clutch and how to um keep your your good clutch. Like this is my clutch I race with pretty much. This four shoe clutch. So since I want to keep this, you know, pretty good and not really put extra wear on my race clutch, I'm basically going to use my stock clutches. Stock clutches, the clutches, clutch bells, and the clutch um, flywheels, the clutch system that comes with your kit. So if you have a, a kit that you may use an aftermarket clutch, like this Reds clutches aftermarket clutch system to keep your aftermarket clutch good for when you get ready to race. Like I said, I'm I'm just doing some some um some prepping just to go practice. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> to keep my my race clutch and stuff good, I'm just gonna use my stock clutch that came with the kit. It came with my kit and um. Just gonna use it for you know to practice with. That way, like I said, I can keep my my race clutch good, but I can still practice using this three shoe clutch. It's basically gonna be set up the same thing as my four shoe with two composite shoes. I'll take it off with two composite shoes composite shoe composite shoe and one aluminum shoe aluminum shoe so I'm just gonna set this set this um three shoe up similar so I'm gonna have two aluminum and one composite shoe which basically is gonna give me a, um I'm still gonna get the enough you know pop out of my clutch but also not to be so aggressive that it'll you know spin my tires and that's where my composite shoe comes in so it just smooths it out it smooths it out especially if you want a three shoe clutch you can get the same feel as a four shoe by just running by just running um two aluminum and one composite. Like this four shoe got two composite and two aluminum, it's four shoes, so. But anyway, I'm just using this just to show you to, um, again, just how to maximize your equipment and maximize the stuff that you have. Just because I'm using this three shoe, that still doesn't mean that I'm using, you know, worn out stuff. You still need to have, if you're going to practice, still practice with good stuff like these shoes. They're pretty good. Don't have no flange ends on them. Nothing like that. The springs are good. 1.1, not 1.0 springs. And um, like I said, just because I'm using this stock setup that comes with my kit, three shoe, I'm still using good clutch shoes and clutch springs. Cause I don't want to be out there on the track, even on a practice day. You don't want to be out there, and your clutches are acting up, or um, you know, clutch shoes are breaking, or your clutch springs breaks, you know, breaking and nothing like that. You want to have a good practice session, so you still want to run. Just cause you're running the stock setup, you still want to run good equipment on your stock setup. So, but yeah. This is for a little short video for y'all that have y'all um, that has a stock clutch system, or that's you'll have your stock clutch uh, flywheel that comes with your kit that you still that's not being used. You can still use that for your practice session and keep your four shoe clutch system, you know, for your for your race engine. So whenever you just say, cause I'm gonna put. This clutch system, this clutch system right here, the stock one, I'm gonna put it on my Res R5R. 
So when I put this on to go practice with and um, run my club races with, I'm good to go. So when the next time I go to a big race and I want to run my four shoe system, I just put wrap the motor, just bolt it up and put it on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is just another way to maximize your equipment and um and still just cause you running the stock system that don't mean you want to run um clutch shoes and clutch springs that's you know in bad shape you still want to use stuff that's in good shape and um like i said just just go back to how you maximize the equipment that you have so this EKJ24000, just making y'all a little quick quick video on um, just maximizing your equipment and also how to how to keep your your better equipment in good shape and not put as much wear and tear on it. But still also you can go and practice with your stock set up, your stock flywheel and clutch system and still have a good practice section session and also have a good um good club racing just keep your stuff good and ready to go so when next time i have a big race i just gotta put just take this motor out and just put that motor in my, cl my clutches and stuff are already on there be ready to go in good shape so but yeah y'all it's ekj24000 just showing y'all another way to maximize your equipment and um Hey, treat people the way you want to be treated. Let them haters be your motivators. And action, speak louder than words. All right, y'all. Love, toss, salute. I'm out. Y'all. Yeah.